Hello and welcome to UC Berkeley's Summer Sessions Online. My name is Tracy Allen Littlejohn and I am the Program Coordinator for your upcoming statistics course. Because statistics uses different systems than the other online courses, I will highlight some important course information as well as where you go in the course, what I do as your Program Coordinator, and who to talk to when you need assistance. So let's begin. Prior to starting the course, you will receive a new student orientation document from me via email. It provides in detail the information I will go over in this tutorial. After you have reviewed the orientation document, you will want to prepare your computer for the course. To do that, download any web browser except Internet Explorer and make sure to have the latest version of the browser. The latest version of each browser except Internet Explorer is fully supported. If a new version of a web browser is released during the course, check the announcements on the course website before upgrading to a newer version. Now I'd like to show you where you can access your course. You'll want to go to summer.berkeley.edu. Then on the left side, you'll see Summer Courses. Click on there and then choose Online Courses. On the far right side of the page in blue, you'll see Enrolled Students, below it online course access and information click on there then in the middle of the page you'll see access your online course choose stat w21 this will take you directly to your syllabus read it thoroughly on the top of the page you'll also see your announcements button sticky GUI, calendar and piazza everything for your course can be reached through this course homepage. Remember, you'll find this link in your orientation document, too. The links on the course homepage I showed you previously, Sticky GUI, Calendar, and Piazza, is where your online learning will take place. The text for this course is interactive and online. It is called Sticky GUI and written by Professor Philip Stark. It's an introductory text that does not require a knowledge of calculus, but you will need good logical reasoning skills and a knowledge of percentages, exponents, square roots, and scientific notation. The calendar link will be where you can go for your online office hours. Google Hangouts is the means in which you'll be using for this course. Piazza is a Q&A web service that you'll be using for your discussion board. Questions and answers on Piazza are community edited. Each question has a single student's answer that students can contribute to and a single instructor's answer that instructors can contribute to. You'll want to sign up to join the class at piazza.com. For technical difficulties, follow the bug and typo report process in the syllabus in your course. If you submit a report, include the specific information requested in the process. This is one of the only reasons you would email the instructor directly. Students needing accommodations for disabilities for the final need to contact their disabled student program specialist and have them email a formal request to the instructor by July 26th. Please also inform me if you need any accommodations. Now let's talk about who to contact and for what. Your main point of contact for the course for academic and personal issues are the GSIs. You will not be assigned to one specific GSI. Their schedules will be posted in the syllabus. See whose schedule works best for you. Each week you could potentially be working with multiple GSIs. Reasons why you may contact them are for questions regarding course content, discussions, quizzes, policies, emergencies, and regarding assignments. The instructor is the overall lead of the course. She develops and maintains the material, manages the GSIs, and designs the assessments and exams. Your instructor will be available for online chat regularly throughout the term and will read and often reply to postings to the discussion board. Your final exam will be August 16th from 8 to 11 a.m. If you're unable to attend on campus, you need to review the Finding a Proctor tutorial and contact me to obtain a Proctor application. All applications are due to me by July 26th, no exceptions. Other reasons why you may need to contact me is if you need assistance in navigating in your online course or difficulty reaching your instructor or GSIs. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always ask me during regular business hours, Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Remember that it's important to log in frequently and to budget your time wisely for this more independent learning format. The weeks go by quickly. 
I hope this has been helpful and that you enjoy your online course. Good luck.